Hello, Fred here. I want to welcome all the members of the secret silver stacking society. Um, basically, in this video, I will talk about safe moon, gold and silver, my other crypto, staking, everything. But as you can see in the background, we have the U.S. debt clock. So you can check this out at the usdebtclock.org. And as you can see, you see the paper to where my finger is, the paper to silver ratio, or the, they say the dollar to silver ratio, excuse me, the dollar to silver ratio. Um, let's see, there's another figure here I wanted to reveal. Ah, uh, here, down here, where my finger's at, the paper to silver ratio. Um, now, I know I've gotten a lot of flack over showing this at times. A lot of people say, well, this does not determine the actual price of silver. Um, and as you can see, gold's dollar to the dollar to gold ratio is 21,656. So that's pretty high, too. Um, but the gold to paper ratio is actually lower. It's 85.79 to 1. You can see that right there. That's the gold to pay. That's the paper to gold ratio. The paper to silver ratio is even higher. Um, I've been watching various videos on YouTube about um, people that are for silver that think it will go up. Uh, I saw that one interview that kind of showcased Wall Street's uh, Wall Street Silver, the Reddit group and they had a, a guy up there in one of their little um interviews saying that there's plenty of silver there's not a shortage and um you know it's not going to ever get up to high numbers like a hundred dollars an ounce or anything like that um well it could be true but we all know that the silver market is manipulated um so I just like showing this every once in a while to encourage people to check it out. There's a, a load of information on here um, that is uh, worth looking at. So that's the usdebtclock.org, all one word, dot org. Um, also, let's see if we can click on this metals indicator, see what happens. Oh, there's another little chart that pops up. Hold on, let's see it. Wait for the number. So, more little indicators you can ex explore and uh, look at the world precious metal production 2020 year. So, it shows you a lot of different cool stuff silver, how much silver is being produced. As you can see, there is a great deal amount of silver over gold. That's being produced. I think there's a lot of industrial demand. Excuse me for that. There's a lot of industrial demand for um, silver versus gold. A lot of the gold is just kind of sitting, um, you know, because people wear it as jewelry. Our banks hold it. Um, I think there was like the Basel three where the uh, or Basel one or one of those uh, accords where uh, they consider gold to be a stable asset. So it's very interesting. There's a lot of stuff going on with gold. I don't own very much gold outside of like a gram of gold. Um, but, uh, and that's actually a half a gram of gold I own. So not even a full gram. I may own some gold one day, like an ounce or so. Um, but right now, nothing, just mostly silver. I'm very heavy on silver. Um, uh, Hopefully the manipulation will end and silver will hit $100 an ounce like Robert Kiyosaki has predicted in the next 10 years. Um, I've seen a couple articles too that there is a chance of another shutdown because of this uh, new variation of the uh, pandemic virus, pandemic causing virus. So um, I'm not sure what's going on there. Um... So on the cryptos, cryptos are actually a little bit up off of a $29,000 low for Bitcoin. Uh, so all the cryptos that I've seen that I track are up. The ones that I'm invested in are up. SafeMoon is 
getting up off of its low so um, that's good for those holding safe moon um, also uh, Shiba Inu I bought some more of that um, and that's doing uh, a little bit better now it's starting to bounce back uh, GMR is bouncing back it had a huge gain today I think 30% or something like that 30 or 40 at 1.40% so um, the cryptos are looking really good uh, I think I have 88 on Coinbase I have about 91 of those um, so uh, and I have a little bit of Ethereum and uh let's see what else safe moon ethereum gmr that's the gamer token um no other but everything's basically up all green on the um uh token side or crypto side um you know so that's good uh we're still waiting on the wallet which i'm thinking is coming out the safe moon wallet is coming out at the end of the month um, a lot of people are thinking that's going to be a pivotal moment for Safe Moon. Another pivotal moment would be um, the exchange. I think the exchange may be more exciting than the um, wallet. The wallet is key. It's crucial. But the exchange is going to be something where, hey, uh, we can use tokenomics, not just with Safe Moon, but with... Um, um, other cryptos as well and then also uh, its own blockchain too would be good I think they're working on that too so it won't be a token anymore it actually would be a coin so um, I don't know like yeah, I always forget the definition if you need your own exchange I think it's you, you need a blockchain I think you need to have your own blockchain for you to be a coin um, so anyways all these things kind of correlate to uh, safe moon bouncing up i think this is great timing for the wallet when um crypto bitcoin and other altcoins are up right now would be a great time to release it so um hopefully we see a huge influx of buyers um into uh safe moon um with GMR, a lot of the social things they were working on, they're actually coming through on now. For a while, they weren't. So uh, I'm hoping GMR is not a rug pull. It doesn't seem to be a rug pull. I think it's the one I have the most tokens in, even more so than uh, Safe Moon because um, I got GMR early. So we'll see what goes on with GMR. It has a lot of things going on. I wasn't too happy with GMR. Uh, the community isn't as big as Safe Boon, but uh, it's slowly picking up some steam. I think it needs to have a bigger per, uh, presence globally and a bigger community before I could say, hey, um, you know, GMR is a good deal. Um, and with these rug pulls and dusting attacks, uh, I've decided to not take any more chances and speculate as much on certain cryptos unless they've been around for a while and they're in a low low territory versus um all-time high or rebound i might buy a few on the rebound we'll see we'll see but you know what is the saying it could be a dead count bounce you know basically where it just bounces and it's still gonna die you know it's still dead it's not coming back you know uh, we'll see what happens. I think we're going to need uh, some consistent gains out of uh, crypto to say, hey, we're finally out of the bear market for crypto, which would be great. You know, um, I think it would be great. And, you know, hey, if you only dollar cost average a little bit, um, that's not a bad deal. You know, dollar cost averaging. Sorry about the camera, guys. I'm, I'm holding it in my hand. Um dollar cost cost averaging only a little bit of money into it money that you can afford to lose hey you know you may be a winner doing it that way uh that's how i'm doing it right now just buy a little bit every now and then uh some days i may not even or some months i may not even buy crypto i may just stack stockpile cash okay well hey it's fred here just changing things up i know a lot of people have said they're tired of the background um 
But, uh, you know, this is just something different. I haven't done a deck clock video in a long time. And um, I think it's worth looking at and checking on and, um, you know, just give you more information. I am not saying, let's go back, look. I am not saying that silver will hit. Let's see. Oops, sorry, guys. Here we go. I'm not saying silver will hit $3,062 an ounce. Or I'm not saying gold will hit $21,656 an ounce. All I'm saying is this is information to show how many dollars there are per ounce of silver and gold. And as you can see, the dollar to oil ratio at the very upper, here I'll put my finger to help you out, right here is 75 to 63 cents an ounce. Uh, that's the dollar to silver. I mean, sorry, the dollar to oil ratio. And if you've heard in my other videos, I always say when the oil spot price of oil goes up, silver usually follows because of manufacturing. Uh, it, they need oil to manufacture. I shouldn't say manufacture, but to mine the silver and to um, s smelt it, I guess is the term. So um, silver is around $70 a barrel right now. Um, so, uh, let's see if it actually goes up to this, uh, dollar to oil ratio price of 75 to 63 cents per barrel. It'll be interesting to see if it hits that amount. Okay, guys, I'm going to let this go. I've been on for a long time. I know, once again, I apologize for the technical issues with this video, but I just wanted to get some content out to you and show you, um, the U.S. debt clock once again. And all the fantastic numbers and things you can look at while enjoying uh, the website. Okay, Fred here signing off. And as Silver5150 says, just 20 ounces of silver to your name keeps you 99% ahead of the game. And as I say, just 20 ounces of silver makes you a member of the secret silver stacking society. Your host, Fred, signing off. See you in a few days. Take care. Bye-bye.